Hello, this is Poonam here, technical support expert for Palicon. In this video, I'll walk you through the license integration process. This is the second step in multi-DRM integration. In order to play the content that we packaged in our previous video, we will need a DRM license to be issued to our player. What exactly is a license? A DRM license is a set of encryption and usage rules used by the digital content creators to prevent illegal distribution of their digital content. Palicon Multi-DRM supports token type licensing. That is, when a client requests for a playback of a content, a license token is generated at the service site and then is delivered to the client device. The client device sends the token to the Palicon server to request for a DRM license. The generated token contains usage rights and other security options. Palicon Cloud Server validates this token and then issues a license accordingly. Sample code for this token generation are available in Java, Python, PHP and ASP. You can download these codes from our downloads page. In this video, we will create a token using the create token function provided on the Palicon developers console page. On this page, you'll need to provide few details in order to create the token. The values for site ID, site key and access key can be found on the Palicon console. The DRM type is a type of DRM which is supported by the client browser or the client device. It could be either Widevine, PlayReady, FairPlay or NCG. CID is the content ID which was provided while packaging the content. User ID can be any unique user ID. Timestamp is the time when the token is generated. The token is valid for the next 600 seconds by default. If this field is left blank, it picks up the current timestamp. Response format is the response data type for the license request. When set to original, actual license data is sent to the device. And in case of JSON, the response received is in a JSON format. Key rotation is set to true when you need to enable the key rotation. Token rule allows you to apply usage rules for the content in the license that is issued. We will set this to empty curly braces for quick testing. Once these details are provided, you need to request for the token. This is the base64 encoded license token that will be sent to Palicon server for requesting the license. Now using this token, we can request for a license to play our encrypted content. Please check our next video to know more on the playback process.